Hey guys, it's Kendall. I get so many questions on Twitter every day, so it is time to respond to some of my fans. First question, Jenner Kingdom. Hey girl. At Kendall Jenner, what do I do if someone has the same prom dress as me? I'm seeking for help. Jenner Kingdom, this is what I think. Just chop it up, make it your own and like go rock it. And I'm sure like, why not just embrace that you guys are wearing the same thing? Like if so, if I've ever shown up somewhere and I'm wearing the same thing as someone, just go like make a joke out of it or like go hang out with them or like take a picture with them. Ivy Lee asks, how would you wear this? Just, ask, just asking for some advice, thanks. Ivy, I would personally wear it with just like some blue jeans and maybe some like boots or something. I'd keep it simple. Jewelry always helps building things up and making them even better. At Kendall Jenner, what are your thoughts on using heat on your hair? Smiley, I don't personally use heat on my hair every day. I heat only really goes on my hair when I'm working. It definitely isn't great for your hair. I'm not an expert, but I would prefer not to use it just every day. Caitlin Piper, at Kennel and Kylie, you both have the most amazing hair. What products do you guys use? Caitlin, I personally wash my hair every single day. I know that people tell you you're not supposed to do that. I've been doing it since before I can remember. So it's just something that I've always stuck with. I actually don't use like any like really expensive shampoos or anything. I use a pretty like generic one. I think it's finesse. Like it's so random, but the shampoo that I use is like not that expensive. It's like from CVS, I think. And like, I feel like my hair is pretty good. So I don't know. <laughs> Carolina, at Kendall Jenner, what's your advice to girls who have self-esteem issues? I personally think that keeping people around you that are like awesome and that like lift you up, make you feel great and genuinely good people around you that just like love you for you and whatever, I think that that helps so much. You know, just knowing that you're really, really cool and awesome because you are the shit, Carolina, I guarantee you. Sarah Sade asks, at Kendall Jenner, how do you make time for self-care while traveling? Sarah, you can always try breathing. I know it's corny, but it, it really does help. I always like try and get a little bit of meditating in. I'll listen to like calming music. I'll chill. I'll like do a lot of breathing. There's amazing apps that like are good for, you know, anxiety relief. They have a breathing app where there's a little circle and it goes in and out and it really helps. It tells you when to Inhale and exhale. <laughs> XXK1, at Kendall Jenner, I need advice. I'm gonna do a model audition Saturday and I need help. Girl, kill it. Get in there, be so confident. I know it's gonna probably be scary. That's really natural. You're hot stuff, I promise you. At Kendall, how do you, Kendall, define love? Well, Chris, I think love is, I don't even know. I really don't even know how to define it. It's like such a strong feeling and I just like, I can't even, I don't think my words would do it justice, but it's a very powerful thing, that's for sure. Johnny at Kendall Jenner. Kendall, I read an article about how you were insecure with acne problems and I really need your advice. I feel sad about it. No, don't feel sad. I've been there. Oh my God, that makes me sad that you feel sad. It sucks, it really sucks. There is light at the end of the tunnel, I promise you. Drink your water, I know everyone says that. Drink water, wash your face, stay clean, stay healthy. There is a light at the end of the tunnel and we're gonna figure this out together. Kendall, what's in your purse? Which is your favorite thing in your purse? My purse is not that full. Like I carry big bags around and I don't have much unless I'm going to the airport, then I have a lot of stuff in there. So I just love like a little bag that you can just throw on your shoulder and tuck it under your armpit kind of a thing. It almost disappears. If it's just every day, it's usually just my keys, my wallet and my phone, maybe some like chapstick or something. At All About Court K. Kendall, how, do you, how did you cope when Dolce went missing? I lost my bird on Sunday and I'm so heartbroken and devastated and don't know what to do. No, All About Court K, that makes me sad. We have these annual Christmas parties and Dolce was staying at our friend's house for a couple nights. Ended up running away from our friend's house. I'm sure he was wondering where we were and we just never 
you know, found him. I mean, it's the worst thing ever. We were looking for weeks. We like couldn't get over it, but you know, you just can't think too much about it. I mean, I hate even thinking about them being like scared or sad, like that's the worst, but I know you're gonna get through it. I remember Dolce in such a positive way and Dolce is awesome. I'm sorry about your bird. Thanks guys. I hope I answered your questions properly. I hope it helps a little bit. Thanks for watching. Thanks Allure. Good luck.